new company for selling. And first off, we're going to talk about financial cleanup. So what that means is making sure that your numbers are clearly easily understandable. Uh, a phrase that I really love is when you confuse, you lose. So we want to have things simple, easy to understand, and fully documented. Uh, it's, you know, something that can really help too is when there's a couple different ways to verify what someone said. So for example, a way to verify is your daily tracking software that tracks where your cleaners are, how they're doing, and stuff like that. That's one way to verify. And then QuickBooks, uh, your financial software on that side is another way to verify. Having both of those makes a significant impact in documenting and letting people know. Now, people are going to be asking for your former uh, tax forms. Uh, so you want to make sure that all your taxes are up to date. Um, when someone's buying your company, they're typically not buying your EIN number. They're just buying the actual the trademark name, the phone number, the website, the you know the myriad of websites or different things that you have going with it. Uh, you will actually be retaining your own EIN. Uh, so that way, it helps protect you from what the buyer, um, you know, if they make a poor choice in the future. But really what it does is it also helps protect the buyer from if there happens to be an outstanding debt that maybe you don't realize that's going to happen. Um, or, you know, something that, you know, a lot of us know if there's something that's on the horizon that might happen, it helps protect the buyer, helps create that confidence. But having your financial records, you know, clearly documented for someone to understand the operational improvements. So what this means is you want to update your equipment, improving your process and resolving customer complaints. So the more that people can see that there's a way to always have equipment that's well-maintained. Um, so for example, maybe the type of vacuums you use every six months, you know, you specifically send it to a shop to go ahead, get them repaired, and they can see that you've been doing it for multiple sets of time. That right there will help create the buyer knowing your systems are great, um, you know, improving the process. Um, you know, just having the different things uh, always around and, you know, seeing what your process is, how you've documented it. Again, a tough thing is about when you're selling a company that's, you know, maybe it's near that half a million mark a year revenue is the processes might not be documented so well. It takes a lot of work to document those processes, get them through, um, you know, and that is something that really can help a company that's, you know, 4 million revenue have a much higher multiple than a company that's 500,000 because the company that's 4 million in revenue has already gone through. They've enhanced their processes. They've asked, what could we do better? They have it clearly documented to where they could bring someone in. And many times they do. They bring someone in from the outside and say, hey, here's our training software on how to get up to speed on the operations, the job position that you're going to do. Um, so, and then a cool thing is, is when you have, the updated equipment, keep it running good, improving the process, resolving customer complaints. You know, right there, it shows, hey, if a customer calls in and says, you guys didn't show up last night, you can look at the software and be like, you know, apologize for the miss. And you can look at the software and see that the person was in there for the full time that they were supposed to and find out strategically where the person missed or, you know, what if the person just happened to say that they were there. Um, some softwares will actually track exactly where your teammates at. Um, and you know, you can see how to help resolve the customer complaints. Uh, your clearly documented process really that's gold when it comes to selling. So you want to create a plan to resolve the issues, enhance the overall business operation. Um, some of that's key is retaining your employees and customers. It's very expensive to lose customers. And it's even more expensive to lose employees. So, um, you know, every buyer is going to be wondering what your incentives are, uh, how your communication is, uh, how you maintain the high standards. Um, so, you know, if you understand uh, the buyer, he's going to want to understand your incentives, your communication, and how you maintain the high standards. Uh, those documentations really are amazing. Showcasing your business strength. Oh, yeah. So 
we know you got some really good strengths. That's how you build it to this level. And so, um, you know, using customer testimonials, the awards that you're receiving, the positive reviews, uh, what they showcase the value of the reputation of the company. So again, quickly in this video, what we've talked about is your uh, financial, getting those in order, what people want to see, having a software, uh, not just QuickBooks, but a, uh, you know, a job software operationally, uh, how you keep equipment going great, improving your process and how you resolve customer complaints. And then also retention and for a buyer to know how quickly your turnover rate is of it, teammates and your turnover of um, customers and what you do to attract new teammates and specifically what you're doing that's amazing that attracts your new clients. And then this gets to showcase your business strengths because if you are doing a great job of re attracting new clients and retaining amazing teammates, those will help you with valuation uh, so much. So next up, what we got is marketing your business for sale. How to do that? What ways to what to steer away from? What to pursue? What to lean into? So see you in the next video.